Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello and welcome to the video for what is combo box, the get and set selected index nodes. So we have our get selected index node and our set selected index node, and they're very simple. It gets and sets the selected index on our combo box. Remember, a combo box has an array basically for its options, and the index is the item that we have currently selected right here. Zero would be this is our default, one would be carrots. So if we run this example, and I select an item, carrots in this example, it says one. If I choose our default option, it says zero. The get selected index node is simply grabbing our combo box when we select something and printing out the selected index. Really that simple. The setter is basically the same thing. It's just a setter that takes in a combo box and an index and sets our current selected option, so the option we're going to see here, to that index. So we hit play, and you notice carrots is selected automatically. Carrots is our first index, our second item, and it's set selected automatically. We can change this to zero. You'll get our first option, or our zero index. If we set it to something invalid like select 6 and hit play, nothing's going to happen. So if it's a valid index that's currently in the combo box, it will set it to that. If it's an invalid index, it will simply select nothing. And that's it. Those are our get selected index and set selected index nodes. Those are useful if maybe you need to save out options for later use. You have a character select screen or a level select or something like that. The person using the project selects it. You can grab what they currently have selected and save it out. The next time you load the project, you can grab that maybe from your save object and set it so that way when they come back, everything is back how they had it. 